Good morning, friends. It is day two in Madrid, or day three, technically. I'm feeling sleepy. I think I just didn't have a good sleep, so I'm feeling groggy. Groggy, groggy. We're gonna go find a coffee, get the same croissant as yesterday, because that croissant y chocolate was muy bien. That's French, mucho bueno. And then we're gonna go explore. Let's go get a coffee. This is the best bakery. Hello friends, it is a beautiful day here in Madrid. It's about 16 degrees. I still have my puffer on, but no vest. I have my rain jacket with me because in about four hours it's supposed to sprinkle and I'm not repeating what yesterday was. Uh, there's the sunshine. I'm feeling okay today. I feel a little bit more jet lagged than I did yesterday. Just some like nausea, just the feeling of nausea, but not actually being nauseous, just tired. I didn't sleep well. I thought I'd sleep like a baby like I did the night before, but I actually was up a lot, just tossing and turning. So now I am gonna go explore Plaza de Madrid, Plaza Mejor, and the Royal Palace, which I'm forgetting in Spanish. So those three, and I found a vegan restaurant I wanna check out which I always like to do before I leave, kind of a game plan, so I don't feel super lost. I'm just productive with my time. So we're gonna do those three, and also, by the time I get to the restaurant, I'll probably have to use the bathroom. El baño. I've got Google Maps on my watch, so now it's telling me where to turn, and I can just look at this instead of pulling out my phone every five seconds. We have arrived to Plaza Espanol, Espana, <laughs> oh God. Plaza Espana, it's just an open courtyard in the middle of the city and we have a beautiful hotel I'm looking at right now that is Hotel Rio Plaza Espana, so obviously like the top hotel in this area. It's a beautiful little courtyard, very nice buildings. This is the hotel. 
and then around here we just have more buildings. It's just an open area, obviously like a plaza or courtyard. Yeah, it's nice. Being more in the center of the city, it's gotten a little bit busier, more touristy because there's English, there's Spanish and English on almost every sign. Whereas where I was staying in Cuatro Caminos, it's not as busy. So definitely on alert for my bag a little bit more, just in case. All right, friends, not my most finest day. I already mentioned I've been feeling kind of funky today. And in previous videos, I've also touched base on the fact that I have a bit of situational anxiety, I call it. So I was already feeling shaky, like my nervous system is just on fire. And I thought, okay, I need to eat something. I need to eat something. So obviously I went to a really cool restaurant called Sam Sini, Sam, Sam Sino. And it's a plant-based restaurant, really excited about it, and I found it. I sat down and there's something about sitting in the middle of the restaurant that really just kicks my anxiety up, and I've been doing really well. Anyway, I'll have to continue this story. As I was saying, I just felt kind of funny sitting there, and then I ordered food, trying to distract myself, even though I continuously started to feel more and more shaky and just I'm unwell and like panicky. It starts to turn into basically a tiny, tiny panic attack and like something's gonna happen to me. So much so, I went to the washroom to try and not basically waste time till my food came, but I knew I'd be really nauseous eating, just being feeling this way. So I even went up and said, please cancel my order. I don't think I've ever done that in a restaurant, like in my entire life. Thankfully the gentleman spoke really great English and he was like, yeah, no problem. And just as I was leaving, the email server said, oh, it's ready. Do you want to take it to go? And I was like, yeah, actually, because I still need to eat. Just took it outside and ate it. It was delicious. And I'm kind of mad because I wish I could have told them how good it was. It was called a lady killer wrap. It was pumpkin, chickpea, tzatziki, their homemade vegetable sauce on a really soft tortilla. One of the best sandwiches I've ever had. I am feeling a little bit better. It's almost four o'clock and all I've ate today is a croissant, a coffee, I've been drinking water, and a porras that my Airbnb host gave me. So I realized, wow, I really haven't had a lot of food and I'm someone who eats, like, I'm not shy about eating and I think I need to eat more. I'm just gonna take some deep breaths and let everything calm down again. Cause then I'm gonna be anxious taking transit and that's just a really not fun experience and I've been doing so well. So I share this because this is the not so glamour side of solo travel. Like I don't have anyone to talk to about it except this camera. Thanks for listening. We're off to the plaza. One thing I did not account for is that there might be a soccer game on today, or there definitely was yesterday when I went for dinner. <laughs> and clearly everyone's celebrating. It's very busy. You can hear them chanting. They are fired up. It's not for Madrid, it's Manchester City, shocker. I believe all the Brits are out here having a pint, enjoying themselves, <laughs> and they're determined that they're the champions. though my host Carlos was mentioning when I sit or I visit here to imagine what time would have been like this is from the 1200s he says and what kind of regime or ruling or battles would have happened in this foreground and the building itself is quite incredible because it wraps all the way around like it's four corners it goes all the way around except you can tell that this area is a little different. You can see that this is all red and the red is continues and then this is a different area of the square. Clearly there's a lot of Manchester United fans. I was gonna come have a coffee but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, 
Scheiße! to do some research to find the lyrics to the chants for Manchester City's soccer fans. So I hope you enjoyed. We are at Cathedral Critical Crypta. I have to look it up. The Paliso Real de Madrid, the Royal Palace. Just heard a whistle because a security card did not like that someone was sitting on the sledge, and I didn't like it either because it's quite the drop below.